Hey friends, it's Dwight. Welcome back to my studio. It is Friday and I'm going to be working on this 24 by 36 canvas. And as you can see, I have a lot of different colors here. Now I have it laid out as I'm going to pour it. I'll be starting with these red color. I'm going to put some white, some red, purple, and then I'm going to put a buffer between the purple and the green. That's the citron green. And then do the citron green, blue, sort of the turquoise. Then I have Prussian blue. So these are a mixture of Arteza as well as Deco Art Americana and Deco Art Dazzling Metallics. And I've got quite a few ounces on here. I've got over 34 ounces, I believe, 36 ounces or so. It's a lot of paint, but I've got a lot of real estate to cover and I'm gonna tilt, you know, corners and sides and edges. But I wanna be able to get as much off as I can to stretch the top black paint so that the bubbles pop and the color underneath comes through. Now I am going to be doing a colander pour because I've been really liking that recently. There's one I did the other day. You can see on the wall right there. Turned out very nice. I haven't done any touch-ups to it. There was no need for that. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. So and I do have black paint and there it is there. It's the um, Artist Loft Soft Body Black and that was July of 2022. So Okay, friends, we're going to get started here in just a second. Let me just double check my consistencies and I will move my paint off to the side and we'll get going. Hey friends, it's Dwight. I'm back here for the wet walkthrough. And yeah, I looks like cotton candy. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of when I walked back into the room. Um, I really wasn't sure what was gonna come through the most. As I was pouring it through the colander, I started realizing that starting with that sort of pinkish red and the red and white, 
uh, might not have been the best choice. I was hoping to get more red just around the center and I wanted some more citron green. Now, trust me, I'm not complaining. I think it's beautiful. The colors are bright and vibrant. It's kind of hard to tell in this room, but let me just move in and show you the details. They're multicolored. Um, I wasn't quite expecting that as much. Have a really nice little negative space there with the pink. Pink and yellow is an interesting color, I must say. Oops, I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. Yeah, a lot of movement. I love doing these pores. Love doing these pores. Yeah, so I'm on this journey of experimenting still, um, trying to create something beautiful um, and different. Even though it's a dump and swirl or a colander pour, there's still something different about it than some of my older pours. And that's basically because, um, you know, using different kinds of paints and mixing different brands sometimes give you different results. So guys, I hope you like it. It's something different and new. And um, let's see. Well, going into the weekend, so that means there's more paint. So you'll see some more of me pretty soon. So guys, have a great start to your weekend and stay warm or stay cold, I should say. It's pretty hot where I am. And we'll see you soon.